Intimate partner violence. Let's start the conversation. I didn't know I was a victim. Even the word victim made me uncomfortable. I felt alone. No one could understand. It started with name calling, then shoving. Eventually, I was wearing long sleeve shirts in summer to hide the bruises. I made excuses. He's been drinking. He lost his job. I made him angry. It's my fault. It's my responsibility. I shouldn't have done this. Now I know that 40% of homicide victims in the United States are killed by an intimate partner. I never thought that could be me. I isolated myself from friends and family. I lied to my doctor. I was a strong person. I told myself that strong people don't let themselves become victims, so I normalized the behavior. But I was wrong to think his abuse made me weak. At one point, I could barely look at myself in the mirror. I had so much shame and guilt. But I had nothing to feel ashamed about. By starting the conversation, I found out that one in four women and one in nine men in the United States had been victims of intimate partner violence. It didn't matter what color I was, my job or income, my sexual orientation or gender. It didn't matter because intimate partner violence affects everyone. The conversation is important. Talk to someone. Use your family as a support system. Tell your doctor and they can provide you with resources. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is a great resource. Contact 1-800-799-7233 to talk to someone. Start the conversation because it's important. Just like you, I was afraid to start the conversation. And it didn't always go as I had planned. But with the right resources, you can get the help that you need. It's time to start the conversation.